So first you want to just get pretty much any mouse. This is just a very cheap office mouse I stole from my work. Obviously you can also use the mouse that you intend to use the cable with, but it's a bit risky because you have to, you know, cut stuff off it, you might break it. So just open up the mouse, take the cable out, and then you want to get the wires out of this header here. So there's five plastic tabs on it. You just want to get something thin under them, just lever it up, and then pull the wires out. After you get all the wires out, uh, there will usually be two black ones, and one of them will be thicker than the other one, like you can see here. Um, and it'll end early, like the rubber on the outside will just stop, and it'll just be like a bunch of metal, like exposed wires. You just want to cut that one off, that's the ground, you don't need it. And then you just start cutting the edge of the cable, like I'm doing here, very carefully and slowly. So you just cut it off, so you can just pull it from the opposite side. Uh, that you cut. So you see I can just pull it off. Once you get a good grip on it you can just start pulling it off in the like big chunks like this. You get all the rubber off. Now under that rubber you have this uh, like weird metal stringy stuff that um, you probably won't have this because this is like some random cheap office mouse. Um, it makes the wire much more stiff so most like modern gaming mice don't have it on. But if you do have it, you want to just bunch it up like I'm doing here. It's a massive pain in the ass, but you can just bunch it up like I'm doing here and just cut it off with scissors. Uh, it'll take a while, and it'll, more importantly, like you can see under my hands, it'll, it'll just get those little metal like pubes everywhere. Um, th this is the only way that I have found to like quick get it off reasonably quickly, is to just bunch it up and cut it all off. And just pull it off. Make sure you have a bin nearby. Um, this is probably all your mouse will have on it. This like weird tin foil stuff. This is super easy to take off. You just like twist it off like I'm doing here. So once you have all that off, you just want to you know cut it off at the end. Cut off whatever stuff's hanging off, and you want to get each wire into like. Do you see how they're all curled up, twisted around each other? You want to separate them. So you just want to unwrap each wire from the other ones. That'll probably take you the longest out of anything here. And once you uh, do that, you want to just get the uh, USB end, just stick it down somewhere. I'm using blue tech. And you want to separate the wires into two groups, so I'm doing it by colors. I have the black and the white on the, uh, on the left, and the red and the green on the right. And for the braid, you just want to take the outer wire and just put it under the opposite one in the middle. So I take the black one, put it under the red, and then just pull it through. And now you just want to do that again for the other side. So you take the green, put it under the black, and just pull it through. And you just have to loop that over and over again, basically. So now you go back to the left, put the white under the green, because that's the one in the middle and just pull it through. Take the red, put it under the white, pull it through. You can just, you just, all you have to do is loop that over and over again. You can do it while you like watch TV or something. It's really easy. You don't even have to look at it really. Um, it's, it is a bit time consuming, but it's very, very easy. So you should be all good. So next, now that our wire is fully braided, uh, you can put a knot at the end if you really want to, but it's going to be held, the wires are going to be held in um, by the little header we're going to put there, the little plastic thing. So you want to take the cable out of your old mouse, and you just want to copy the way the wires are arranged in the header. So uh, the one on the far left is empty, that's where the ground would normally be, just leave it empty. And then it goes black, green, white, red. So you just put it in in that same order, uh, ground, empty, black, green, white, red. Now it's not particularly likely, but if you put them in in the wrong order, you can pretty much brick your mouse or like fucking short it or set it on fire or something. So just pay attention and put it in the right order. So as you can see, I've put them all in in the same order, plugged it in, and uh, it just works. I can move the mouse around, I can do both clicks so the lights all work, so it's all good. If you do this, plug it in and it just doesn't work, you've either got the order wrong or you've just bricked your cable uh, somehow.
this cable is really, really light. Like, obviously, it's the lightest cable you can get, so you pretty much cannot feel it at all. It's like, it feels very much like a wireless mouse. It's very, it's much better than paracords in my experience. Now, I have seen at least one guy making and selling this style of braided wire cable, but he actually makes them out of wires that are like too thin and it gives it too much flexibility like because it's so weightless uh, you can see in videos people have made of those uh, cables like the fucking wire is like just flopping around everywhere and it'll like get under your mouse and shit like if you just make it out of a normal wire uh, it'll have actually enough stiffness that it'll stay out of your way but it'll also be so light you won't be able to feel it and it'll be free as well if you're willing to spend some time which is a good bonus